welcome to another beautiful, awesome Saturday. I do a new video every Saturday at 9 o'clock. Hey, my name is Danny Lansdale, and welcome to the channel. <laughs> hey, yippee ki yay, giddy up, yeehaw. Hey, I don't know, that's weird. Always weird. But look, it's something super important that I really wanted to uh, talk about. Relapse. Relapse. Like, what? the freaking holy hell you know like the weirdest thing is is you know if you're an alcoholic or an addict of the hopeless variety and if you don't know what the hopeless variety means the hopeless variety is you, know, you didn't just screw yourself once from drinking or using or twice from drinking or using you screwed yourself like lots of times like failure after failure after failure and the one ingredient that seems to always be there is either drugs or alcohol that's the hopeless variety so when we come into the freaking program and we start doing this stuff the insidious cunning baffling powerful insidious thing that comes into our head can see i heard this weird thing and it's called the disease right and the disease speaks in your own voice inside of your head and you think it's you we all know that if we relapse go back to shooting heroin smoking speed drinking to oblivion it's gonna be bad if we've gotten to the point that we know it's gonna be bad we should be cured oh you know it's gonna be bad don't do that shit anymore <laughs> we should be cured but guess what a month Two months, six months, mm, a beer. I can handle a freaking beer. I'm not a pussy. I can handle a beer. I can handle a joint. I get that joint. You know, and then I can, like, what are you doing, Danny? A 20. I'm just doing a little 20 of heroin. Like, big whoop de doo I can handle it. I feel pretty good. I've been sober for a minute, and uh, I can handle it. And that's the deal. Because see, the truth is, if you are an addict, alcoholic, or a person that has used drugs and drinking and screwed themselves over a million times, the truth is you can't handle it. And the deal is, it's a two freaking mile road. See, the problem isn't once you relapse and all of a sudden you lose the house, you lose the car, you lose the girl, you lose the money, you lose the career, you lose it. That's not the problem. The problem is when you were stone cold sober or whatever you want to call it and you chose in that moment to pick that thing up I believe that there's only one reason why we relapse one reason because life is not satisfying enough sober that's it because if life the reason I don't I, I mean I loved heroin I loved meth I loved drinking I loved fighting I loved all that shit very very much like that was it for me that's what made me happy Today, I don't freaking entertain that stuff. Not because, oh, I'm going to ruin my life if I relapse. I'm going to throw away everything I've built, you know, and people are going to be disappointed. <laughs> like, I don't not drink or use, not because of those reasons. I don't drink or use because none of it's going to make me feel better than the way I feel right now. No, nope, I feel great. I am truly satisfied with this place called life, with the man that I am and the life that I live. Very satisfied, I'm finding satisfaction. That's why I don't drink and use. But the deal is I relapsed a million times. And even when I felt strong, brave, courageous, I thought, I still felt that drinking a beer would make that day better. I still felt doing a little heroin would make that day better. I still felt smoking a little speed would fucking make it a little bit better. And inevitably, see the deal with relapse, it's a two mile road. It's a two mile road for those that have destroyed their lives over and over and that was the key ingredient. It's a two mile road. It might, as soon as you pick up, as soon as you take that first hit, as soon as you drink that first beer, as soon as you give up your sobriety date, your clean date, the last date that you screwed around, as soon as you give that up, immediately you're on the two mile road. 
You might take six months to go those two miles. It might take you three days to go those two miles. It might take you a year and a half to go those two miles. But at the end of two miles is pitiful and incomprehensible demoralization. Fuck my life! That's the end of those two miles where everything has just gone to shit, despair, terror, bewilderment, all these weird old things. But guess what? Every time I relapsed, for those six months that I was on the two-mile road, for those five months before it got all bad, (laughs) I got it under control. I'm doing great. I'm going to school. I'm working. I'm paying bills. I got my car. I got my stuff. Everything's okay. I'm drinking. I'm screwing around a little bit. It's okay. No one could tell me that I was going to smash my face into a brick wall because externally things looked good. But internally, things were getting destroyed. So the deal is, one reason why we relapse. Because life is not satisfying enough sober. So how the hell do we make it satisfying? Guess what? It's an inside job. Because the reason it's not satisfying, because the deal is, if it sucks inside, it sucks out here. If it's great inside, it's great out here. If you win the lottery and you win $10 million, if you're an asshole, you will still be the same asshole in more luxurious surroundings. (laughs) Driving a Bentley in a million dollar house, you'll still be the same person. But if you can feel great inside with $5, you can feel great inside with $5 million. See, it's an inside job. So we remove our demons, our character defects, our traumas, our insecurities, that doubt, and we learn how to conquer them. And once we overcome them and tell them to shut the fuck up, (laughs) because you can, you don't know that you can, but you can. And then they, they, they become meaningless because life is abundant, beautiful, wonderful, awesome. The problem is most people can't see it because they just see the suck inside. So work the program, any program, don't care what program, NACA, uh, whatever, you know what I mean? Spirituality, Noranon, whatever the program it is, work the program, release the demons, and find some freedom because you truly deserve it. You deserve it. You got this one shot at this gift of life. Do the inside job. Do the inside work. Stop freaking farting around on the outside and uh, find some freedom. Namaste. Blessings of light and love. Have a wonderful, awesome, amazing day because you deserve it and you're totally worth it. All right. God bless. We'll see you next time.